Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing the No Disclaimers book tag. Basically this tag was created by Catalyst Reads and I was tagged by Olivia from I Live You For Books so I'll have both their channels linked down below. The first is a hated trope basically. So for this I do think most tropes can be done well. Most tropes that even if I'm not a fan of them I still think they can be done well like insta love can still be done well. Things like that in my opinion. There's not one that I specifically hate. There's plot twists that I hate like the oh plot twist the character was dead and this person was hallucinating like I've seen that done so many times now also the pregnancy plot twist is annoying <laughs> one author does it all the time we won't talk about that this happens a lot with romance especially it's the innocent virgin pure girl who meets this guy that's so experienced and she gets thrown into this world <laughs> and that is just you see it everywhere. <laughs> I have to really say about that one. Next is an overhyped author. So since this video is no disclaimers, I'm allowed to kind of say this, but I have read two books by this author that I just wasn't impressed with. One I really didn't like and the other one I just thought was okay. So I do think the author is a bit overhyped for me personally and sadly I don't enjoy his work. But that is Adam Silvera. I read History is All You Left Me, which I really didn't like at all. And they both died at the end, which was better, but still not like a great read for me personally. And I know he's such a beloved author and I'm so excited for the book he's writing with um, Becky Albertalli that comes out later this year. I'm so excited for that one. So I really hope I like it. It's just, I usually have like a disconnect with his stories and his writing style. And yeah, it's just really sad because he's like, like I've seen like author interviews and stuff and he seems like such an awesome human and I'm like sad that I don't enjoy his books as much. Next is your least favorite, some of your least favorite books. So <laughs> fangirl rant review is up on my channel of that. The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding. This book was floating around a little while ago around Halloween time. It was floating around. It's a middle grade book written by the author of The Darkest Minds and that book was just not good. I couldn't finish it. <laughs> and Without Merit because that book is pure trash. And I don't hate all of Colleen Hoover's books, but that one, we won't talk about it. We, we won't talk about it. It's a book with like a horrible ending. So for this, I have this book called Dead to You by Lisa McMahon. I don't even own it anymore, but I remember distinctly how horrible the ending was. I like wanted to throw the book across the room. And this ending is like one of the ones that you're like, that, like no, no one's, like no one's really gonna use that, honey. Like. No one's gonna use that because it's so overdone and it's such a stereotype now that we expect that to be the twist. But they do it anyways. Bookish pet peeve. Mine, for like physical, like a physical book, my pet peeve, it's when the spine isn't folded properly and I don't know how to explain it other than showing you guys. So this book is The Afterlife of Holly Chase. Fabulous book, by the way, highly recommend it. But. See how the spine, like you see some of the black that's supposed to be like shifted and the spine's supposed to be just red. It's like a little pet peeve that bothers me is when like the covers, like the dust jackets aren't folded properly. And it's just something that I notice and I get really angry about, especially when you order a book online and it comes like the dust jacket isn't folded right. And I'm like, why? Next up is an underhyped book. So for this, I have Everything Beautiful Is Not Room by Danielle Young Allman. This book is about a girl who wants to be a famous opera singer like her mother once was. And after her mom kind of goes through some things and some tough times with her career and with her passion, she doesn't want her daughter to go down the same path and end up just as devastated as her. Basically, the daughter Ingrid ends up going to a summer survival camp and it's basically full of delinquents. And it's like, if she can last throughout the whole thing, and then her mom will let her go to whatever she wants or let her pursue her career kind of thing. And this book was just really interesting. It deals with a lot of tough subject matter, including sexual assault, suicide, and something else, depression as well. But yes, it deals with a lot of tough issues, but it's a really well done book and it just, nobody talks about it. And it makes me really sad. Like nobody talks about it at all. Last is your thoughts on banning books. So if you don't know, some books are banned in school libraries or banned in general. There's like a list of banned books. Some include like Harry Potter, um, so many that it books, like there's so many books that have been banned, like more recent, like The Person Being a Wallflower was banned, I think. 
the hate you give i think was banned in some schools or something i don't know how that works exactly but my thoughts on banned book books is obviously that's stupid you should read what you want and you should be able to read what you want and a book shouldn't be banned because it has witchcraft in it because it's harry potter honey what do you expect but no it's just it's ridiculous and it, i could have like a whole discussion video on banned books like mm. Mm. Let me know your thoughts down below on that. I want to know. So that was the no disclaimers book tag and I'm going to be tagging some people so I'm going to be tagging. Jordan from Jordan Harvey, my friend Alyssa, Cam from Wolfshop Publishing, Peter Likes Book, Jay from The Awkward Bookworm. I'm also going to be tagging Clara and Yasmin. I'm going to have all those channels that I tag linked down below as well as the creator and Olivia who tagged me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all very soon. If you enjoyed this video, like it down below and subscribe if you feel like it. And yeah, I will be back with a video eventually. Bye. Alone, they life when no one understands you. But don't give up because the music do. Because the music